We need to do with this i7 6th gen. We're gonna pair it up with this uh, RTX 3060 Ti. This is a very great video card. It's from 2020 and it's got uh, 8 gig of VRAM GTDR6 with uh, 4864 shaders. This is the Founders Edition model. And we're gonna see if we can push this i7 to the limit. Let's jump in a couple of games and see if the CPU is still holding. Okay, let's start with Starfield. All right, so 1080p, Ultra Details as a preset. Let's jump in and see how the system is working. This is cool. I like the CPU, how it's holding. It's reaching barely 40 watts consumption. And uh, I, I seen some uh, cores here, here and there that is struggling with 70, 50, 70% 70 load. I maxed out the fan from the video card because I want the GPU cool. 48 degrees on a Founders Edition, please. Average is good. The system, uh, the system RAM is 13.4 um, gig of system RAM. Very, very, very good, but I have 32 gig because uh, this is a system that uh, nearly suffered from uh, Hogwarts legacy when I tested it. And I put, managed to put 32 gig inside. But uh, the CPU is holding, it's told, holding really well. You know, you can actually see the cores barely, uh, barely passing. Uh, 50% the GPU is maxed out Ooh. I like how the GPU is maxed out bad people bad jokes 3 <laughs> not not who's there broken sword broken sword who oh never mind it's pointless <laughs> <laughs> this is not bad I mean uh, really not bad it's working and I can't complain if somebody comes and says ah oh, the i7 doesn't work no 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 it's working it's working he's doing the job so this i7 with uh, this 3060 Ti is like the maximum peak because you can actually see the GPU is like 95% load. The GPU and the CPU are uh, perfectly balanced in between, you know. I can see, actually see the CPU reaching 90%, 99 in some cases. Uh, not all the time, but uh, maxing out the game's details with the GPU can create uh, a nice balance in between. Because if I don't do that, then the CPU will 100% be bottleneck. But uh, like this, with 60 FPS on average, 26 on minimals, I can say that I'm lucky. What? You don't wear a suit. Okay, let's test No Man's Sky and see how it's running with the system. It shows me something really important. I'm running this game from a normal hard drive, not like Starfield that is uh, lagging constantly and I can't do nothing about it. You know, the game is very fluent, so No Man's Sky is one of those games that uh, is running really great with the system itself. So the CPU is not stressed, you barely see 50% load on this, 12 gig of uh, system RAM from the computer, but on the other hand, the GPU is maxed out. So let me show you the settings because I actually forgot the settings to show you. So I'm on ultra details and I have no anti-aliasing. Anti-aliasing, I mean uh, DLSS or DLA-A. No uh, modification, no ups upscaling in the game and it looks very sharp, it looks fantastic overall. I like the ship how it looks and uh, yeah, the lights, everything. I mean the sky, it's uh, kind of weird, but uh, sometimes it's fantastic. Okay, let's take the ship and see how we're reaching the, the space. Does it lag? The GPU is uh, using nearly 5 gig of VRAM in order to deliver this performance. But you can see how stressed the GPU it is. But I'm very happy that I maxed out the fan because the GPU is now on 54 degrees. This Founders Edition is the best. Ooh. Pulse engine not available until I reach the space. All right. Okay, now I can jump. I see a lag. Ooh, I seen the spike. All right, I'm in space now, yes? Yes, what I wanted to do, it detached from that cluster of planets and see if there is multiple planets like this one. I detected this one and I've been to this one. There is that small one. This is how I like to play uh, No Man's Sky, like this, with 135 FPS on average with 28 in some cases it dips really low but it doesn't matter it's working fantastic the gpu has 
doesn't consume a lot like in uh, in the previous game it's only using 120 watts consumption you know 5 gig of uram and uh, in some cases uh, it's steady with 50 percent cord load and the cpu is the same 50 percent cord load 35 watts this is what i want from the system a game like this and so no man's sky it's ideal versus uh, Starfield. Can you play Starfield with this? Uh, yeah, you can play with this i7 6th gen. There's no problem. But uh, I really suggest this game because uh, it doesn't require uh, an SSD and this one can run from mechanical one. Let's test uh, Cyberpunk and see how it's running. Last time I was here it was uh, not looking that good. Now I got an RTX 3060 Ti and uh, looks kind of good yeah i like the lights i got i like everything about it you know i don't know what resolution and what settings i have but i'm gonna check it out now and see ray tracing on low how, mu how much you get uh 60 fps okay so let's push this to the limit and put it on ray tracing ultra as a preset i want to see i want to see the environment here because it looks freaking nice seriously i want to see if the cpu is holding a 3060 ti in cyberpunk you know because uh, there's a there will be games that will not run with the cpu but it will run nice with this uh, gpu and you can use dlss so in my situation i don't even know if i have dlss but uh, looks kind of good everything is fantastic on the on the performance side 5.4 gig of vram used not that bad you know got 8 gig of vram but uh, the core is already maxed on the gpu and 188 watts consumption it's putting the gpu on the limit so i can't complain with the right gpu the system can do the job you know but in some situation you can actually see the core uh, reaching 90 90 percent load and uh, i'm not gonna lie it's a feel good moment when an old computer when an old cpu like this uh, it's uh, pushing you know it's i7 6th gen 6700 is not uh, that new you know so some people will say oh it's an old cpu but it still does the job you know i like how this 6th uh, uh, gen cpu is doing Hogwarts Legacy, let's see what settings we have. I think it's on maximum details. Nvidia DLSS, none of it. I'm not having it, nothing. Nvidia Reflex, keep it on, V-Sync, uncapped. I don't want any modification. I want to see the GPU and the system pure. No help on maximum details. Ray tracing on medium, everything is on... Uh, nearly maximum i want to see if i can put the cpu to, to struggle or the gpu all right so the gpu is uh, nearly maxed out it looks fantastic 30 40 fps and uh, i'm actually curious oh my god the light is fantastic and the game looks awesome so ray tracing is doing a freaking awesome job so in this situation i think that uh the system is capable of holding the gpu with uh, 18.5 gig of system ram this is that game that requires a lot of system ram even though the cpu is not maxed out i can do the job with uh, this uh, system with this uh, cpu so look at this so i got like uh, 60 70 percent load on the cpu and 70 80 percent on the gpu so where's the lag i think it's on the threads from the cpu because you can actually see the cpu reaching a couple of them on maximum so ah uh, yeah the cpu it's the culprit in this situation scaling nvidia dlss i'm gonna use it on uh, put sharpening on one and dlss on auto nothing Oh my god, they look so banana. Very sharp. Nothing. So I can distress the, the GPU, uh, 7 gig of uh, VRAM, apparently it's 6.6 .6 gig of VRAM, 7 gig of VRAM, you know, and uh, still can get uh, the system to run much faster. In some situation, actually lower. Damn. Oh. oh 
Okay, so maxing out the GPU, it was much better. Oh my God, look at the lag here in this situation. Okay, so definitely the CPU is in this, uh, uh, in this case. Inside with the system itself, uh, it's not that great. You know, the CPU is actually the problem in this, this case. So Hogwarts Legacy, it's, um, it's a problem with this computer. Let's test uh, GTA 5 uh, with this uh, CPU and the GPU. I think the uh, GPU can help the CPU in this situation. I'm gonna max it out and see how it's running with uh, everything turned on on maximum. Very high, very high, everything is crisp with this video card. Okay, we're in GTA 5 and uh, I'm on the limit with the CPU. I can actually see it is struggling in some positions. You know, but I can see that it's doing a fantastic job with the GPU. The GPU, on the other hand, 4.4 gig of VRAM and barely struggling to heat up because I maxed out the fan. The GPU is doing a fantastic job, under 100 watts, so it's not stress. You can, you can tell by that, uh, by that uh, consumption or wattage how the GPU is doing. So if it's under, actually it's 100 watts. 110 in some situation it's uh, it's lower but the cpu is there 50 60 fps with maximum details yeah i can't complain because that's a that's a really nice uh, performance from something like uh, an i7 6 gen here in this situation even though you the cores are not maxed out i know the threads are a problem because of the uh, lga 1366 i know that there is a problem and the cores are uh, not utilized but the threads are a couple of threads are maxed out so i have a problem there with uh, with that uh, computer uh, with an rtx 3060 ti there is no problem with uh, with the cpu there is no problem when it comes to pairing it up with this video card the only thing uh, it's not okay is the future of the main board because uh, there's not a lot of room to upgrade and uh, hopefully in the future I can change the CPU and see if I can max it out just a little more. Hopefully it will be okay. But um, I'm having this uh, system because the i7 6 gen is still a capable um, CPU based on the games that you play on this computer. So hopefully we'll put more video cards in this computer. Hopefully we're going to put more games that are not that new like I tested today i'm gonna see some older titles that are uh, making this uh, cpu more likable you know not uh, games that are uh, lagging and barely barely pushing some decent fps